Welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Matter 2019 for the 45th episode of the Team Sun Pure mode. Today's episode uh, will be the um, March Classics, so we'll have Milano San Remo, the um, Drip Gas de, de... No, sorry, the... Um, is it Drip uh, Yeah, Drip Gas de Brugge de Pan, E3 Ralbeck, uh, Und, Gan, Und and Ganvevel Game. Um, I mean, I'm not quite sure as how, uh, as how everything is going to work out, but um, I'm, I might have the uh, Dvarzo Vlanderen in it, I, I don't know, I don't know, uh, but it'll be mainly classics. Um, so yeah, first off, Milan de San Remo, we've got the title holder with Zoran Kraft Anderson, um, lineup we are bringing it today in, uh, on the Italian roads is going to be Zoran Kraft Anderson, Matej Mohoric, Tish Benut, Michael Matthews, Max Valscheid, Mike Tunison. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that um, Hershey is a decent choice. I know I could probably bring someone like um, Per Søren Simonsen, uh, Per Søren Simonsen actually, uh, or, or Nikas Arndt. Um, we're gonna go with... Uh, mm -hmm, I don't know. We're gonna go with Simonsen. We're gonna go with... Uh, no, actually no, we're gonna go with Nikas Arndt. We're going to go with Nikas Arndt. Um, so yeah, let's go for 292 kilometers between Milano and San Marino. It's going to be a long, long day for the first classic of the season. 290 kilometers between Milano and San Remo. Um, title order: Zoran Kraft Anderson on a zero today. Max Valtried plus three, Matej Mohoric plus two, which is an interesting uh, thing, knowing that there's uh, the uh, downhill after the uh, Poggio, and uh, the anti-fight downhill could clearly uh, prove to be useful for one of our guys. No one in a negative day for once, which is a, a first, but uh, I'd gladly uh, welcome it. Mike Tunison is here as well. Um, the leadership is, is easy. It's going to be my, uh, everything for Michael Matthews. Um, but you never know. Someone like Zoran might be able to steal the spotlight like he did last season. Um, we're not going to send anyone in the break. We're going to wait. And the next time I'll catch you will probably be for uh, the Chipreza or like the Capo Mele or whatever the Capo Mele is. There we go. Alright. Uh, 12k left. Nothing really happened in uh, the um, Chipreza, which is why I didn't show it. Uh, however, our train has been dropping here um, in uh, the uh, narrow section towards the, uh, the Poggio, one kilometer until the summit. Benut, Kraft Anderson, uh, Mohoric and Michael Matthews are quite far down in the peloton. We might have to be uh, relying on Mike Tunison and Nikas Arndt, uh, which truly isn't something I had planned. Uh, Nikas Arndt is going to pace to try and uh, stay at the front with Mike Tunison. Tish Benut is going to have to pace to come back. To the front, he's got uh, some space on the left hand side of the road uh, as there is uh, an attack by Jasper Stoyven, Jakobsen, and Bob Jungles. Nika Sands is going to reduce his rhythm, otherwise, he's literally going to kill himself. Uh, come back by Tish Benut. Come back by Tish Benut on uh, this side, that's good. That's very good. Tish Benut, um, who can pace uh, overtaking Amin Grand Alliansen now. Come on, T pace as much as you can until the summit, if possible, of the Poggio. Uh, okay, now it, it, it should be good. I've missed. I've messed up badly here. I've stopped everyone. Uh, all right, we shouldn't have we shouldn't have lost too much here. Zoran, keeping the rhythm as um, high as possible, and we're back in the descent now for uh, the uh, Poggio. Five kilometers left now. Matej Moric is the best downhill rider there is uh, in the team, so we're going to uh, to I don't know I don't know. Uh, yeah, actually we're gonna have him attack. We're gonna ha we're going to attack with Matej Moric. We've stopped Michael Matthews. Uh, he's not in the wheel anymore of Zoran, and uh, see maybe if we can get I don't know a a win with Zoran that would be uh, quite quite nice. Uh, is there a gap? There is there is a slight gap right now. 23 seconds. Um, there you go. 23 seconds for Matej Moric and Zoran Kafanis and Michael Matthews has done a very good job. We're going to uh, maybe follow the attack of Bobby Ingalls. No, we're just going to let the uh, rider from Luxembourg on his way as Zoran Kafanis and attacks Matej Moric under the red flam. Everyone in the peloton is going to sprint for us, uh, but we should be looking at a 1-2 for Sunweb here. Both riders, Zoran Kafanderson and Matej Moric, raising their hands as Matej, um, as Zoran Kafanderson gets back-to-back -back wins on the Primavera. Ackerman gets third with Gaviria fourth, I think, yep. Bob Jungles brings home fifth, uh, Matthew seventh maybe, a sixth maybe, no, no seventh. Seventh, Sagan sixth, Lutsenko Nazan and Mark Tunison in 10th position, but this was an incredible Milano San Remo, and uh, yeah, happy to get the win, really happy to get the win. We might as well call him Mr. San Remo, because he's just <laughs> incredible when it comes to the Primavera, 
Uh, Zoran wins ahead of Matimo Horic with Michael Matthews in 7th, Mike Tunison in 10th, Arndt in 14th, Benu in 15th, a very good overall performance once on web. Uh, but yeah, I didn't expect to get this win. Uh, I, I'm usually great when like Milan de San Romo uh, happens, but I don't know. I didn't expect to get this win. Um, we're going to take a look at Max Valfried who finishes in 78th, sorry, 58th position. Um, but yeah, 1 2, 30 seconds ahead of the peloton, Michael in 7th. What else can you ask? Second race of the episode, uh, Dridaxe, Brugge de Pan. I mean, it's between Brugge and de Pan. Uh, it is 192 kilometers long uh, and uh, it has barely any cobbles. So I could, I could potentially do well here. I feel like this race has potential for me to do well. Um, I think I lost last year's, so uh, let's try and uh, put that in the past and win today. Just to, I don't know, uh, to, to get a win, I guess. Uh, I need to show that I can race in cobbles, even if it's like a green, um, a green cobble race. And it's with a minus four that Michael Matthews is going to start this race, the world champion. Um, who hasn't won, I think, since the uh, Down Under, who will be uh, wishing to get uh, another win to, uh, to his name this season. There is, as I said, uh, barely any cobbles in this race. Um, three sectors early on, uh, early on in the race. But then that's, that's about it. Uh, there is this hill. Um, and I don't know, a couple, maybe. Um, if, if, that, if that's 10 kilometers, that'd be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Maybe 60 kilometers um, away from the uh, the finish line, which should be uh, I mean too much to create any gaps between sprinters and actual uh, classic men. We've got a breakaway with uh, Lachlan Morton, Mersen, and Robert uh, or Robit. I'm gonna guess Robert. Uh, Matt Verschmidt is following with um, Vermerk. Jimmy Janssens, J. Robert Thompson, Amaron Tunes, Roman Kroesega, Christopher Fim uh, Fingston. But um, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be able to beat. If, I don't know if anyone's going to be able to beat uh, a uh, fitness peaked Michael Matthews because he just looks completely mental. All right, uh, we've we're entering the final 10 kilometers. Um, hasn't been great. There's been like seven breakaways. They've been co-op. Uh, that's basically everything that happened. Um, there is only 50 riders yet in uh, contention for the win here. 71 riders have been dropped, uh, including Tij Benut. To be honest, he hasn't done a lot of things, so I'm not surprised um, to see him uh, getting dropped. I didn't really want him to uh, to use too much energy. But it's now Mark Hershey pacing with uh, Matty Moritz, Perzoran Simonsen, Zoran Carfanderson, Mike Tunison, and Michael Matthews in the wheel. Um, great work by uh, by Mark here to uh, increase the gap with uh, the group. 101 riders in the group behind. That's a very massive group. We've got five riders and five kilometers. There is an, an attack. I'm gonna guess probably Christoph or Tim Wellens. Uh, oh, actually no, my bad. That's a, that's a Jumbo Visma. Sorry about that. Uh, it was Kuhn Vermelfort. Right, Matei, don't block anyone. Don't block anyone. Cheers, thank you, Matthew Moritz. There goes the sprint. Pierre Zoran Simonsen, Zoran Carfanderson, Mike Tunison, or Michael Matthews. Who will win? The uh, Drid Gas de Pan. The Drid de, de Pan, sorry. Um, final kilometer for all the, these riders. Michael Matthews is in leading position, but there is one kilometer to go. Uh, it looks like it's going to hold on for Michael Matthews. Unless Christoph. Mike Tunison! Mike Tunison! That is a surprising win. That is a very surprising win, but Mike Tunison is the one winner of the Dridax Brugge de Pan between uh, Brugge and de Pan. Uh, I don't know why I said between, but Alexander Christoph brings him second. Michael Matthews gets a third. Mike, Mark Avenish, Reinhardt in seventh, and Gaspar de Bust, Zoran Krafondersen in eighth, Marcel Kittel in seventh. Debuchere and Dan McLeay to complete the top ten. Uh, I thought it was going to be a Christoph win when he overtook me. Uh, I guessed wrong. Two out of two. We're starting to win classics in this game. What's happening? Mike Tennyson gets the Dridax de Bruges de Pan ahead of Michael Matthews. Uh, no, Alexander Christophe and Michael Matthews. Um, I would have preferred to see the win with Michael. I'm being honest, but I will take a uh, a win as as long as it uh, as long sorry as it's in the team. Uh, next up, Etroy Albeck. Will we win? Probably not, but we can give it a try. Another day, another classic. 
uh, et 3 à rollback, this time the first uh, real Belgian classic, if we're being honest, uh, the Dridax de, uh, de Pan wasn't exactly like tough, um, nor it was a, a cobalt classic. So this is the first real test, and again, uh, there is cobalt, but uh, not for the final, uh, I don't know, 25 kilometers or something. So we might be uh, in a, I don't know, a decent chance of a, of a win here. But uh, there are some attacks already. Once again, we're not going to go into the breakaway because we never do that. Um, we'll stay in the peloton, wait for everyone to uh, accelerate, then we'll get dropped because of my bad positioning. Then I'll complain about how I hate cobalt uh, and I'll uh, finish 12th. I think that sounds like a decent plan. There's been a huge crash. There's been a huge crash. Uh, in the peloton just under 100 km to go, but Peter Sagan, Wout van Aert are down, uh, the both of them crashed with uh, Alejandro Valverde as well, um, but this is big, this is big, the peloton is now uh, pacing under, uh, I think, quick step, yeah, Dukonak, Dukonak are pacing, um, and it is understandable, you could uh, potentially drop two, uh, two favorites today, and uh, although they will probably come back, yes, they will, there's been another crash, uh, that's Stan de Wulf, with uh, Jens de Bucherer, they're going to come back. Um, there were some riders who tried to attack. Demar van den Berg uh, and uh, Magnus Kort Nielsen. I think maybe Degen Korb. I think is in the break now. Uh, yeah, Degen Korb is in the break with Kolb um, Who else is good in cobbles? Stefan Kung, Alex Lutsenko, uh, Matteo Trentin, and Dries van Gestel and Sebastian Langeveld. So some good good cobble riders uh, in the break. Probably should have been sending someone there, uh, but I didn't think of it. Alright, 10 kilometers to go, uh, a lot of things have happened, uh, we just have Benut and Mike Tennyson in the main group, there are two riders ahead, Stefan Kung and Bob Jungles, um, Stefan Kung has been in the breakaway ever since the beginning, uh, I mean, if he manages to beat Bob Jungles, or even to like, resist until the peloton comes back, then fair play to him, um, gap of 30 seconds, but the peloton behind is chasing very, very quickly, you've got the likes of Greg Van Avermaet, uh, I, I've tried my best to come back with Tish Benut, but uh, I mean it's been hard. Tw 10 seconds, 10 seconds, we're coming back, we're, we're gonna come back. We're going to come back, uh, 5 seconds actually, are we gonna come back? Pete Sagana looks like he stopped pacing, uh, we're gonna use the gel now. 13 seconds, they're taking some, uh, some seconds back. Bob Jungelsen uh, and Stefan Kung, can they hold on until the line? We're gonna see if we can, I don't know, pace maybe with Tish Benut, attack by Stefan Kung. Attack by Stefan Kung, Martinson isn't following Tish Benut, which is not ideal. Um, Bob Jungles trying to follow the move by the Swissman, uh, but can he do it? Can he hold on? No, Bob Jungles has cracked. Bob Jungles has cracked. I don't know if Bob Jungles will be able to sustain the, the rhythm. Yeah, we're going to follow the uh, sprint of Matteo Trentin. No, Oliver Nazan, maybe. I don't know whoever's going to sprint first. Um, 1.4k until the line here. Uh, but the win today is going to be for Stefan Kung. That's your surprise of the week. Impressive work. Mike Tunison brings home third, I want to say. Yeah, third place. Van der Poel in second. Van Avermaet, Niels Polit to complete the top five. Um, I mean, third place isn't bad. Uh, I just feel like maybe we had enough. Peter Sagan in 20 years. That's interesting. Uh, I just feel like maybe we could have done a bit better, but what a performance by Stefan Kung. Well, that's something I didn't expect. Stefan Kung gets the uh, E3 Bing Bang Classic ahead of Mathieu van der Poel and Mike Tennyson. Third place for him. Uh, I mean, it's a decent Cobalt Classic. Uh, I'm quite happy with third place, if I'm being honest, considering the scenario um, and ev how everything went down. Tijuan Newt brings him 20 uh, first. Michael Matthews in 26. Uh, but yeah, it's a good sign. Um, may maybe it's finally my year with, uh, with Classic. You never know. We're still in Belgium for uh, the Gant Vevel game this time. Per Zoran Simonsen, Michael Matthews, Mete Mohoric, Tish Benut, Mike Tunison, Zoran Kraft Anderson, Mark Hershey. That's the lineup we're going for. Um, it's gonna be mainly. It's probably gonna be a sprint. Uh, we've we've done well on um, like the the uh, classics before, I think. Um, so we we might be able like to continue our good run of form. Uh, Michael Matthews has a fitness peak as well. So. You never know, something crazy might happen, we might even, I don't know, fight for the win. It's a sunny day in uh, in Gant as we uh, head for 236 kilometers, three cobble sectors, um, some hills in the second part of um, of this classic. Not the uh, toughest one of the uh, of them all, 
Uh, it is the first one of the uh, triptych of the, 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 Flandre, uh, the, the Flanders treble, I, I suppose it probably is translated into. Um, it's by far the, the easiest one to win. Um, but, I mean, no. For a pure, pure uh, Flander guy, it probably isn't the, the easiest one to win because you need to be a very good sprinter to, to win this uh, as there is, I mean, like a solid 35 kilometers between the final difficulty and the end. Um, so we'll have to see what goes on. Michael Matthews has a zero today, not great. Mike Tennyson, though, who's been on an incredible shape ever since the start of this, um, the camp and the, um, sorry, the classic season, plus three. He's got 81 cobbles. You know that? Mike Tennyson might be at one point a decent leader for us in, I don't know, like Faroubet, if uh, our guys aren't good. Zoran, uh, sorry, Pierre Zoran 79 as well here. Um, decent stats for him. Zoran minus one, sadly. Mohoric, uh, decent stats all aboard. I really, really love his stats. And Tij Benut, um, who's got a plus one in Mountain. Big up. Alright, we're in the final Kemmelberg. Uh, we've been storming through, uh, through this race because... It really isn't that interesting. Uh, there's been a crash, I think, with Nils Polit, if I'm correct. Yep. Um, I mean, he's going to come back easily into the peloton. But said peloton very might, uh, very well might split. Uh, and I mean, it, it will split because it's it's a couple classic, so it has to. Um, for once, we've got all our riders in the main group. That is one of the first times I've managed to do, to do that. Alright, 40k left, 48 riders in the peloton. And eight riders, sorry, seven riders for Sunweb. All right, we've started our train. Um, we're, I, we're going to treat this stage as if it was a sprint, uh, a sprint stage. Nils Polit is trying to chase uh, the peloton. I don't think he's going to manage to come back. And even if he does, uh, there is no way Nils Polit is winning today. Um, I mean, it was going to be hard for him to win even without the crash. There are some attacks though. Anthony Turgis, Wout van Aert, Piet Sagan, Stan de Wulf. Sepp van Mark, Philippe Gilbert, and Oliver Nazen. Uh, Zoran Karfandersen is keeping them at bay, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, however, he's gonna have to uh, change the. Uh, I mean, he's, we're gonna have to change the um, leader in the peloton. And now Tij Benut. Uh, Mark Yashi is on the verge of getting dropped here, which is just absolutely brilliant. And he's been dropped actually. Mark Yashi has been dropped. Oh. I see. That's not great. Uh, I mean, it is in the fact that there's now 20 riders and not 40. So we've got a 50% chance, a uh, 50% inc uh, increase in uh, the chance of winning the stage. But there is also a guy called Peter Sagan. No, sorry, it's Sandevulf. Yeah, it is Sandevulf uh, in the lead. And uh, I'm afraid we might not be able to catch him. I don't know. We're going to try our best though uh, with Tij Benut now. We've got Matej Mohoric in behind, then Per Zoran Simonsen, Mike Tennyson, and obviously Michael Matthews. Um, pacing the peloton as well with Tij Benut is Wout van Aert, then Oliver Nazen, Matteo Trentin. Uh, okay, interesting. Interesting to see Wout van Aert pacing. Uh, is Ronovigan here? Oh, he is, he is. Okay, so not, not, that, uh, not that surprising. Uh, he's definitely pacing for uh, his leader. Just five kilometers to go, we're going to use the gel right now uh, and we're going to ask Matej Mohoric to pace uh, like a crazy uh, person come on 4k we're going to catch uh, to, to catch Standerwulf there it is no Standerwulf anymore on the map uh, and there goes Matej Mohoric and there goes Pierre Zoran Simonsen Oliver Nazen is there Oliver Nazen is there Peter Sagan is a few meters behind a few meters behind for the uh, three-time world champion, but is he going to be beaten by another world champion? I mean, yes, because the winner today is Elia Viviane, second place for Ronewegen, Gaviria, Ackerman, Matthews, Demar, Colbrelli, Trentin, Degenkolb, Christophe Laporte. It truly was a battle of the sprinters, and um, I think I really, really overestimated my, uh, the, the power of my train here. Uh, I had five guys with 5k to go. There's no way I should be able to lose this. Anyway, we, well, we get fifth place, which uh, isn't where I expected to finish. Uh, Alright, Viviani gets the win in Grand Vival game ahead of Ronnevegan, Gavira, Kaman, and Matthews. Um, I think when I said that Nazan uh, was like the closest guy to me, and then Peter Sagan was a few meters behind, uh, I kind of forgot about everyone else, and I was really focused on Peter Sagan. 
Uh, I saw Michael dropping him, and uh, for me that was like it was the win. Uh, but then I remembered that there were 20 riders in said group, and they're all good sprint sprinters. Uh, and it showed today because Michael only gets fifth position, not where I wanted to finish, if I'm being honest. Um, but I guess that's better than nothing. All right, uh, final race of the episode: Dwarzo Vlanderen, um, 174 kilometers. It's a couple classic. It's not the hardest one, uh, if we're being genuinely honest. Perzeron, Simonson, Michael Matthews, Mete Mohoric, Tish Benut, Mike Tennyson, Zoran Kafanos, and Mark Hershey are going to be uh, the seven riders that take on uh, today's race. Hopefully I can get, finally get a win. Uh, we got a podium on um, on the E3, we got a top 5 I think on Gover game. I can't remember what we did on Vars of Landeren. Uh, no, sorry, on the um, Drigas de Dupan. Did we win? No, I don't think we did. I don't think we win. I don't think we won. Uh, but yeah, if we could win today, that'd be great. And we're on the way. Sorry for the time stick. Um, we're on the way for uh, this final race of the episode. The uh, Dwarstor Vlanderen. Uh, yeah, I don't want to mess up all the names. There's there's too many like names uh, at the same time. Like Dwarstor Vlanderen, Driedgas de Vanderpan. I think that's only two. Um, <laughs> no, but um, let's let's finally get a win. Um, it doesn't look to be such an hard uh, ending. Uh, nor the race. The parkour doesn't look too bad, to be honest. Uh, it is, is there any big guy? There's Stefan Kung who won the Espoir Albeck. Um, so you know I can definitely lose to him, um, but apart from that, there's not really a lot of guys that could probably be beat, like beat me. Jens Kukula, if it comes to a sprint, and even if it's that case, I've got Michael Matthews. I feel like I'm ready. I feel like we've got enough to get the win today. Um, so l let's show them why we're Sun Web. Uh, not it doesn't make a difference because uh, like we're not good in cobbles usually. But uh, yeah. I just want to win in the cobbles, just for my ego, I guess. Alright, there's been a crash. There's been a crash, uh, including Van Kersbulk, but mainly Mike Tennyson and uh, Mark Hirsch. Uh They will come back easily in the peloton, though. Uh, it was just maybe a, a scare more than anything, no one retiring uh, by the looks of it. Uh, Alright, everyone's back in the peloton, full salon. Alright, we're approaching the uh, what I reckon is one of the toughest parts of the race, 55 km to go, so I'm again to do a, a sit rep. We've got six men in the breakaway uh, with Damian Novak. I don't know if his name is Damian. We'll call him Damian. Uh, Amemel Gebrek Zabir, who's definitely not in his element with his uh, whopping 54 cobbles. Von Hook from Lotto Sudal. Von Puck from um, Tops of Landeren. And uh, Dubuis from, I think that's Wally Bruxelles. And Max Va uh, Philippe Valsleben, sorry, from Corandum Circus. Uh, the Peloton has started uh, the same cobble sector of. Um, is that Maria Borestrat? I think? I don't think so, I think that was the previous one, I don't know. Um, but we're at the front of, uh, of the peloton right now, we're, we're doing good, we're having fun, uh, not really, but there's a Tyneberg upcoming, and that's a climb everyone knows, uh, so let's make sure to, uh, to do well in there. Um, why is Michael Matthews dropped? Michael, mate, you're useless. You genuinely are useless. Well, I've tried to be smart for once, uh, know that I've got like the better team by far on Cobbles, um, I'm just taking the race into my own, like, responsibility. Uh, so I've been pacing with Matthew Morich and Mark Hershey, uh, ever since the time bag. Um, there is still 100 riders in the peloton, there was 20 a few minutes ago. Um, Perez Ron Simonson doesn't appear to, uh, like, any of the climbs, but, uh, it, it's fine. The breakaway is still there, five riders, uh, we've lost one guy. Uh, can I, rem I think it's the guy from, uh, Wallonie Bruxelles, I can't remember his name. Uh, I think maybe Dubuis? Is that, is that possible? I don't know, I can't remember. Um, but we should be fine, 28k to go. Uh, there is the longest uh, sector that awaits us uh, of Varan or Varent. I don't know in which part of Belgium we are. Um, and uh, I think apart from that, apart from this climb, like this, sorry, this sector, there shouldn't be any difficulties towards uh, the end. So this is where we need to uh, make the gaps and all that. Uh, so let's do that now by accelerating a lot with Mitty Mohoric. 48 riders still in contention for the win here. Come on, pacing 99. We're, we're literally giving all we've got, seeing if we can uh, break some spirits or anything. 23 riders. We've done we've done a, some good job here. We've done a decent job. Um, we're going to have to get water with uh, Mitty Mohoric, but now it's going to be 22 kilometers of intense pace with, uh, with Zoran Carfonson. 13 riders for 8 kilometers. Or 8 km for, 18, for uh, 13 riders, it's much better that way. Uh, we've got a final cobble sector, Herr Legumstrat, 
and it's Perzoron Simonson who's going to lead um, the peloton. Great, great rhythm by uh, by Simonson here. 99. We're we're not going to take any precautions in that. Um, there is Jasper Philipson in our wheel. However, Jasper Philipson appears to be uh, to be struggling, and I could understand why. Matej Maric, uh I'm not the one who needs to pace here, so we're going to let him go. Um, if there is a gap and only five riders left, that's all for the better, and uh, I will happily take it. Tish Benut, Mike Tennyson, Michael Matthews, Jasper Philipson, that's the riders who will be fighting for today's win. Um, hopefully it's going to be me. Hopefully. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I, th I don't know if Jasper Philipson can hold on um, in my wheel. 900 meters to go. Jeez, there's so many corners there. I think Mike Tennyson is going to get the win. Uh, and he does. He does. 1-2 for Sunweb. Mike Tennyson ahead of Michael Matthews. Actually 1-2-3 with Tish Benut in third place. Um, Zilvan Zillier. Philipson Schoens Lindemann. Interesting. Lilian Kalmejan. Uh, <laughs> and then my team. Love that. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, okay. We've done well. We've done well. We finally won a classic. Love that. It's not a 1-2. It's, it's, it's a 1-2-3 actually. Uh, and it's just surprising. But to be honest, it's not the hardest classic nor was it the one with the biggest competition, uh, had by far the best riders, uh, had the best lineup, and uh, I just, yeah, took responsibilities in, uh, in pacing everything to make sure that we can get the win, uh, and we did. We did in a brilliant manner. Mike Tennyson ahead of Michael Matthews and T. Benut. Um, I would have liked if Michael had been able to win, uh, but I'll settle for a second place. Perzo and Simonson with the 10th position, Matty Morich 11th. Zone Carpenterson 12th, uh, I think here she's 31st, no 37th, sorry. Um, but yeah, that's that's a nice way to uh, to end the episode. Um, yeah, I think I'll end the episode there. The next one uh, will have, well, I don't know if it will be the next episode, but the next episode with the Classics will have for sure Ronde, uh, Roubaix, Amstel, Flesch Wallon, Liège, Baston Liège, perhaps Frankfurt if I decide to do it. Um, well, if I decide to like record it at the same time, or maybe we'll have Romandie in Frankfurt. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, but yeah, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please consider leaving a like down below. That would really, really, really mean a lot. Um, also, if you haven't done so already, then please subscribe to the channel uh, for regular content on PCM and FIFA. And I shall see you in two days for the next episode of the Pro Cycling Manager Career Mode. I've been Black Hole. It's been an absolute pleasure. Look to you guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the cold, I'm bleeding. But the mother man need feeding. I don't wanna go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in the drip and sip blockbuster.